Hi right, y'all, today we're going to be making croissants. And we're going to keep this simple. We're cooking at home, we're not cooking at a bakery. They're going to be good. For this we have flour, sugar, salt, butter, yeast, and milk. But before we get to baking, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you want to learn a new recipe every week, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and let's get to baking. Hi right, y'all, so we've gone ahead, warmed up, a cup and a half of milk in the microwave. We're going to take three teaspoons of yeast, four tablespoons of sugar, and go ahead, give this a very thorough mixing, and sit to the side. All right, y'all, so now we are going to take four cups of flour in our mixing bowl, a teaspoon of salt, And then our yeast mixture, after we've given it enough time to activate, just a couple minutes, going to go ahead and get this mixed up. Once, it's, once we got it kind of mixed up, go ahead and take two tablespoons of melted butter. And we're going to bring this all together. Once it's all brought together, we're going to go ahead and give it a quick knead. Hi right, y'all, so my camera died while I was kneading that, but I kneaded it for about 10 minutes and formed it into a nice ball, put it in a new clean bowl, lightly greased. If your dough is too wet, go ahead and add a little bit of flour, and if your dough is too dry, go ahead and add a little bit of water. But we're going to go ahead and cover this, set this in a warm spot, and let it rise for about 45 minutes. All right, y'all. Now we're gonna take a cup and a half of butter that we have had softening all night at room temperature. Just three sticks of butter. Take another thing of parchment paper, wax paper, and roll it out. Now trying to keep it as rectangular as possible, you want about 15 by 7 inch block of butter. We're going to go ahead and put this in the fridge while our dough rises about that 30 to 45 minutes. At that point, I'll bring you back. Alright y'all, it's been an hour. Go ahead. Get a sheet of some sort. I'm using a cookie sheet. Dump our dough onto it. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of shape this with my hand. Give it a quick roll. Go ahead, take more wax paper, fold this in half. In the fridge for 30 minutes. Hey right, y'all, so after 30 minutes, we're going to go ahead. We want to keep this the same width as our butter block, but we need to roll it about a third longer than that. Once we have it rolled out, go ahead, put the butter on it, and we're going to cut it in thirds. Stack, stack, we're going to roll it out, we're going to roll it out to about 24 inches long. Once we got it rolled out like that, fold it in corners and fold it in half. Roll it out again. And if your dough got too warm while rolling it that first time, go ahead and put it in the fridge for another 15 minutes. Alright y'all, so I've rolled mine out to about 24 inches by, by about 10 inches. Take some wax paper, like we like before, 
fold it in half. We're gonna put this back in the fridge for another 15 minutes. Hi y'all. Now we're gonna roll this thing out to about a quarter inch thickness. You wanna keep it as rectangular as possible. Taking it a little wider is fine. All right, y'all, now we're just gonna go ahead, take and let, even it out, which might mean cutting your dough a little bit. All right, now you can do this with a ruler, or you can do it by eye. I'm gonna do it by eye. We're gonna make it as diagonal cuts Just like so. We're gonna go ahead and roll them up. Got them on our lightly greased cookie sheet. We're gonna go ahead, cover them. Let them rest for about 90 minutes, hour and a half. At that point, I'll bring you back. All right, y'all, so after an hour and a half, we're just gonna go ahead, brush these with some egg. Now we're gonna let these rest while our oven preheats to 375. At that point, I'll bring you back. All right, y'all, so our oven's preheated. And go ahead, hit these with another egg. Alright, so now we're going to throw these in the oven, 375, for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, we're going to take that heat down to 325, and we're going to cook them for about 15-ish minutes, or until they're done. At that point, I'll bring you back. Alright, y'all, and after about 23 minutes of baking, we now have croissants. Now, if you'll notice, this process took about 5-6 hours. Like I said, we're making these at home, this ain't a bakery. But these are really good, really flaky for a same day croissant. Now, if you want a proper croissant that takes, you know, three days to make, go ahead, get this video to a thousand likes and we'll talk about it. If y'all like this recipe, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button down below. If there's anything you want to see cooked on this channel, go ahead, leave a comment below. There's a video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, keep on cooking on.